Those are their Operation angles. Paperclip. He that, didn't call it Paperclip. He said our government brought those. He, the thing he would always say was, "Yeah, but that's." The, 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 I think there was several waves. There was the, it's like thirty four thousand of them. Yeah, there was a lot of fucking Nazi scientists brought over. On here. YouTube, it says uh, Operation Paperclip was uh, anywhere from like twelve hundred to fifteen hundred scientists. Search engine: the total number of admitted congressional hearings. In the 1970s, one Operation of these, like, Frank Church Committee in the 70s released it. I believe the number's 34,200 and something. Hmm. Look it up. Because like I told you, they gave people symbols. You pulled it up. But it, it is fascinating that they brought those people over here, and that's where the, the space program came from. That well, that, came from that's Nazis. why I wore the shirt, not as a sick joke. They already had the CIA that was OSS. Okay. The CIA is OSS? That's what? all on record. Okay. I, I'm glad you questioned me. No, hey, but type I don't in know what that means. CIA. What is OSS again? Uh, Office of Special Plans. Or Office that was before the CIA. And then the OSS, CIA came Office up. Office of Strategic Sort plans. of like... Um, no, Office of Strategic Services. Like what was before the SEALs? What Jesse Ventura was in? No, the SS the frogman, Jesse Ventura frogman. wasn't in that. I, I, he was an auxiliary of the Navy. He was never in combat. Anyways, let me expand on that. The, uh, the OSS... MDT. The Office of... What is it? See, my memory fails. The OSS was British intelligence, already the most powerful British, the most powerful intelligence agency ever. They set up Proud House in 22 after World War II to anglicize the U.S. with British intelligence. Not a British intelligence takeover, a marriage. This is all, this is like on PBS. Okay. This is stuff that's true, they admit. Same thing, only academics are watching it, so they'll tell the truth. The general pop culture is all crap. Meant to be dumbed down, meant to turn you off. But when you go to the real academic stuff, I know the old days of Frontline and stuff. Like, I watched that to know if it was true. Later, I got the documents. It's all it's all real. That, like Those shows are, like, really accurate. Like, Bobby Kennedy planned to blow up the embassy in Honduras. It was like that. What was I getting to? I don't know. Nazis. Nazis. Well, it, <laughs> Warner Von Braun. <laughs> okay. isn't, it, okay. isn't, it weird that, isn't it weird that the one man who directed all six moon missions was a Nazi? And he was brought well, in over. Weird. Isn't it o weird that one, isn't that crazy? Braun, one guy didn't smoke weed and one guy's having a problem with his memory? Two guys did. Why? Hey, you want to defend Warner Von Braun? Hey, hey, I'm not defending him. In That's 1935, fine. I get it. Nazis. Uh, and, I, and I've seen documentaries and read about it. He sketched for Hitler this plan to drop atomic bombs that they hadn't developed yet. So when you see Red Skull, Marvel comic, they've got a big bomber mm -hmm. to blow up New York. Yeah. It wasn't a bomber. It was a space plane, and it was about half the size, but looked just like this. And the Germans. Actually, some of their scientists went to the Russians. Remember when the Russians tried to build their space shuttle and was half the size? Mm -hmm. That was actually the German plan. So, so you look it up. I'm not kidding. Because the Russians took a lot of Germans as well, correct? They, about a third of them, yeah. So, so look. The reason I'm wearing this is to explain. This is a gateway to all of it. So you have British intelligence that had won World War One, even though Germany had way more advanced technology. They then take over. British intelligence basically merges with the U.S. And then the Germans and others say, we've got to go way ahead in technology. It was all theoretical in labs, but they couldn't mass deploy it. They didn't have enough machine shops and systems to build it. And U.S. Special Forces went on suicide missions and blew up the underground mountains. How about the Nazis uh, were the first to build flying saucers? All of it. How Jet crazy is that? Mm. But let me tell you. That's crazy. Well, yeah, so, amazing. isn't that a coincidence? So, British amazing intelligence. Cars. British intelligence. Flying saucers, dude. The CIA, the CIA in 47. So now the Nazis are over here and they go, listen, you don't want them running everything. And they go to Eisenhower and they say, we want to launch uh, a off-base breakaway civilization where you compartmentalize things, forget empires, and you have a new ruling class of technological elites. And then the elites are all in charge. The public's watching TV and we'll give them widgets and foundation series type things to divert. This is all in the documents. And let them try to run an empire. We'll build a whole new empire. And so Eisenhower gives a speech, worry about, he doesn't just say military and national complex. He says the technological elite, watch the full 21-minute speech, his farewell address in 62. He says, or, or six, 61, he says, you need to watch out about the scientists. Because, because he said no to the NASA plan when he found out what it was. What is it? It's a breakaway civilization where you don't try to run the whole planet. You siphon off resources and build a whole new advanced system, and then you play everybody off against each other and collapse it. So when I say, what is NASA? If we could take NASA back over, it's bigger than the CIA. It's the real government. The spaceships and the stuff, that's all PR. 